today we celebrate the feast of the Annunciation of our Lord. We celebrate Mary's yes. When we look at this yes of Mary, we need to look at three interrelated dimensions. First, Mary is attuned to the will of God. Secondly, Mary's affirmation to what God wants of her. And third, Mary's total availability in doing the will of God. Mary is attuned. It's not easy for a young girl, it, despite the many perhaps hostilities which she has to face, to be able to say yes to a very difficult, literally, order. When the angel Gabriel comes to Mary, he brings her the good news that she is chosen to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary does not understand, but she is connected with God. We live in a world of connectivity. We want to be connected, but Mary is attuned only to what God wants of her. After the due process of discernment, Mary says yes. Her response to what God wants of her is in the affirmative. It's not a certainly an easy process of discernment, but Mary is willing to be able to accept God's will in her life, and she does so joyfully. And then we come to the third dimension, her availability. She knows what God wants of her. She says yes, but her yes is no lip service. Her yes is total. Her yes is in terms of availability to ensure that the mission which has been entrusted to her, the responsibility that has been given to her, will be actually done. Today we have prayed with Pope Francis, the Our Father, praying that the crisis which grips the world today, the pandemic, COVID-19, goes away. We prayed with that same faith that Mary had. Thy will be done, Lord. We prayed the Our Father. And today, as we celebrate this feast, we pray with Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Be with us, Mary. Be with us, and guide us on the way to Jesus today.